Hi everybody, Scott Kelby here in a three-part series on making photo books. We made them in part one in Apple's iPhoto, in part two in Lightroom, and here today, part three, Photoshop CS4. And this was based on a uh, blog post that I did on the Photoshop Insider blog at scottkelby.com uh, on making photo books from um, a trip I took this summer or excuse me, this winter. So let's go ahead and just show you how we did it in Photoshop CS4. Go into the File menu and choose New. And we're going to bring up an 8.5 by 11 standard page. So you go to you know US Paper and bring up, uh, for US sizes, standard 8.5 by 11. But your page has to be wide rather than tall. So you're going to have to actually type in 11, hit the Tab key, and then 8.5 and it creates a wide page. Now, we're going to bring in our first photo. We're going to do this by going under the File menu and choosing Place instead of just choosing Open and then dragging and dropping it in. The reason why is we want this to be a smart object, and you'll see why that's so important in just a minute, but it's a key part of this. So click on the photo you want to import and choose Place. The photo appears, and let's size it down. And the Apple iPhoto books, the images are, they look really nice because they have a lot of white space around them like this and we'll kind of get it positioned there. If you really want it to be exactly centered, click on background, hold the shift key, then click on your layer over in the layers palette, then up top right here, let's zoom in, you're going to click the center icon here and watch it just perfectly centers your photo. I guess my photo was perfectly centered because it's right on the money. All right, and then what you want is you want a gap here, a gap here, and then you want it to be not quite as big a gap. You want it to be a little pushed up, up above the uh, the center, so I'll move it up just a hair like that. Now you're going to add your text. So Apple uses that Helvetica regular. So we'll just go here and, well, they use two fonts. And we'll call this uh, the Island of Roads, which is where this was taken. Then we'll go down a couple of returns and we'll put the village, uh, an apartment, an apartment in the village. Of Lindos. All right, now I'll make the top one bold here. Let's just go choose bold. So there, so there's our text, something like that. So there's your basic layout. Now what you do is you save this. You go ahead and choose save, and we'll choose this as um, uh, these are templates. So we'll call this uh, white background one photo. Okay, and click save. So now we have a template for making any pages that will have this look. So to change your photo, because you used a smart object, here's what you can do. Control click on the layer, go choose replace contents, go to your photos and just choose a different photo to go in here. Click place and watch what happens. The place button will ever show up. Hello. Click place. There we go. And the new photo pops in there. Now all you have to do is go change your text. All right and just move it over here just a little bit. There we go. Now you have to do is change your text. If you want to change the color of the background, it's a two-step process. Click on the background and just press uh, the letter D to set your foreground color to black. Then Option Delete on Mac or Alt Backspace on PC. Fills it with black. Then double click here and change your text to white. Now you can type in new text and there's your page. So I would save this as black background one photo. Now, if you want to do multiple photos, you'll do this. Switch the background page to white. And I just basically, once it's black, if you want it to be white, you just press Command-I on Mac or Control-I on PC. It inverts the page. Then what we're going to do is let's get rid of this. We're going to bring in some vertical photos. So let's go to Place again. We're going to bring in a vertical photo. So go to your collection of images. We'll choose a vertical photo. Here we go. That's not the one I want. How about this one? All right, get it to the size that you want. So we're going to put it maybe here, something like that, maybe a little smaller. There we go, and hit return or enter. Then you're not going to duplicate this layer. You're going to go over here, control click on Mac, right click on PC, and you're going to choose new smart object via copy that makes a duplicate that is not tied to the original. Then you're going to hold the shift key and just drag it over. So now you see you've got two side by side. Let's select both of those. Hold the shift key, select both of them. Let's kind of move them over like that. In fact, if you want to, um, let's go ahead and make our text black so we can see where it is. 
let's go black and then let's align that there we go now so now you have two up side by side but you can go to let's go ahead and name these by the way double click make name one left double click over here name one right and then let's control click and replace the second photo let's choose a different photo to go in the second photo spot hit place and there you've got your new layout again to go to a black background click on the background fill it with black and don't forget to change your text to white alright then you save this as another template call this black background two photos and you get the idea and then what you're gonna do when you're completely done with these is when you get a page that you really like you're gonna flatten the image you're gonna go save as you know page 14 you're gonna save it as a JPEG and then I would send this to uh, mpix.com that's where I get my photo books printed I get I, well they, any lab printing I do they do it all so um, they make great photo books you just upload the pages to them give them the page numbers and all that and they assemble it into a book it's pretty cool okay so there you have it uh, how to do it in in uh, Photoshop CS4